Oh my god, this is Sparta! Good morning guys, I am just arranging these flowers because I'm about to put them in a shorter vase because these are actually two weeks old. They're from Freddie's Flowers and I've just had my new box of flowers arrive. This is two weeks later and you can see that they are still looking fresh and it is peony season and they are beautifully blooming as you can see so they really do last a long time. So with this new box I'm going to cut these down and actually put them in the long vase and cut these stems down and put them into the shorter vase, they last longer. So I'm now going to treat the new bunch, cut down the stems. I like to just trim them at the bottom and cut them in like an angle. It just makes them last longer. And then they also come with an arrangement. So this is so easy to put together. I will leave it on the screen so you can see. And Freddie's flowers literally just give you step by step. And they also give you the flower food. So it is just so easy to have them beautifully arranged in your vases. So I'm going to put this one, I think, in the guest bedroom, leave these on the dining table. And it just just adds that touch of spring into the house that I'm loving. I will leave the discount code on the screen because you guys can save 30% off. You also get a free long stem vase with your first delivery and then you also get a free short stem vase with your second delivery. So it's really worth doing. I just find it so much easier having the flowers delivered straight to my door and every two weeks. And you can also cancel and pause the subscription when you wish. Good morning. <laughs> excuse the state of the towel on my head um but i'm just finishing it getting ready for the day and i've actually just been editing this vlog and i realized that i accidentally deleted the intro so i'm refilming the intro to kind of just update you on what's to come with the vlogs as you can see from the title we're back with some home updates and i just love vlogging from the house and updating you with what's going on so to kind of update you the living room is still the same situation, but we are going to go and change the coffee table for a bigger one. If you maybe seen my previous vlogs, we got one from Home Barn. I absolutely love it. It's reclaimed, beautiful wooden coffee table, but we're going to be swapping it. But in terms of the actual renovations in that room, we've now ordered the shelving. We've finally found a company that can do the shelving for us. And we've also decided we want to make cabinets underneath. So it's also trying to find the same exact wood to do the cabinets. So all of these things honestly just take time and it's definitely what I've been learning as we've been going through like the past few weeks with the house since we've moved in and starting to do things. I'm very impatient so I just want everything done straight away and finding contractors and finding people that are free like obviously we had the contractors come in they're amazing but now they've gone off and done other work because obviously they've got other jobs while we're waiting on the materials to come. And the fireplace, we've had quotes for, um, but I've kind of got another idea with the fireplace now to do my, maybe the bioethanol, like, fire basket instead of fitting in a gas one or an electric, which is the, what they suggested. But I really don't want electric. I want that kind of more realistic feel of a fire. So we are, again, trying to get the source for the limestone for the fireplace again it takes a long time we've been having quotes for lead times of like eight weeks so we literally have a hole in a wall in a living room at the minute but this is just where we're at so the living room is kind of put on pause whilst we're getting all the materials delivered and we are now going to be focusing on the garden because it is the bank holiday weekend coming up we've got some new furniture arriving and obviously the weather's nice now so we can start to enjoy the garden which i'm very excited for never had a garden before obviously we had our little outdoor patio in the old apartment which i loved and we made it really cute and cozy but our garden is also one of the things that sold us when we moved in so we've obviously always wanted one for bailey and just having that extra space and the previous owners that owned the house kept it so lovely so we definitely want to keep on top of it we have ordered some furniture like i said which has actually arrived 
So by the time obviously I'm filming this, we've already got it and set it up, but you'll see kind of the process over the next few days of how I style it and how I get some bits and bobs for the garden and really want to get into my gardening. I feel like is this me now turning 30 this year that this is what my hobbies are going to be? But yeah, we're going to basically focus on doing the outdoor space and there's been so many lovely blooms around the house. We've now got a red rose bush on the side of our house. All the wisteria has started to bloom. It has just given me wholesome vibes. And I just feel like we're settling into our area now a lot more and really enjoying it and exploring the area. And yeah, we're just bit by bit getting there with the house. So we're gonna be focusing on the garden. We're also looking at ordering furniture for the study. I really wanna get that finished off because obviously we've painted it now. We've ordered a desk. I've shown you guys the desk, but still looking on a chair, still looking at a bookcase. We're very indecisive. So we're gonna be going to Home Barn, getting some new bits, I'm sure, because I'm gonna be swapping the coffee table. And yeah, I'm just gonna be bringing you along the next few days. I've also got my hair appointment, so you'll see me getting my hair done as well. And you'll also see in this vlog, I'm not really wearing makeup a lot. Obviously, I'm wearing it now. But my allergies have been so bad with hay fever that I've just had to like strip the makeup off. My eyes have been getting swollen and like really sore. So yeah, a lot of this is just stripped back, me at home and updating you on everything. So enjoy and as always, I'll link everything down in the description. If you do enjoy these videos, please do give it a like. Make sure to subscribe because there's going to be loads and loads of home updates to come. We've got lots of plans in place and also the office, which is very exciting. We're getting started with that, getting the architect in, and hopefully getting our plans approved. Approved. But for now, I'm going to update you on the garden and show you what we've been getting up to this week. So yeah, we've got these kind of like deck chairs from Argos. We've got two, so we're just going to unbox them now and see how they look in the garden. And then we've also got in this box our, it's like a chimney and also a grill. This is from Olivia's, which they've kindly sent us, which will look like this. So we're going to get it all unboxed and set up. delivery I've got a new coffee machine I've just taken some of the bits out of it basically this is for cold coffees as well as hot and we're coming into cold coffee season so I loved my iced coffee so you can see here it has the creamer so you can, I feel like sometimes with cold coffee obviously you can make it put the ice in but I always love that kind of like foamy top to it and that frappe feel um so yeah if i can make it as good as it looks on this picture first time then i'll be very happy because i'm in need of a coffee right now i need a good afternoon pick me up i actually just come to the conclusion that it would actually be better to have our coffee machine here because this corner is always kind of empty um and the size of this actually fits quite perfect here in this corner so i'll have a play but i'm going to put it here for now i've just plugged it in so i'm just sent it up this is so fancy compared to our old one fill tank with fresh water up to the max level okay so let's get it all set up okay so i'm just setting it up i've put the water in then i believe this is where you put the coffee beans but i think you can also have the coffee powder which i have at home then this is for a hot Steam. and then this is for the cold coffee so it comes with all the instructions in here we've got the scooper this i'm guessing is the steamer and they also give you a descaler for your coffee machine as well which is really really handy and then i've got my instructions manual so i'm going to get this all set up and make a lovely cold coffee this afternoon Coffee and look at the froth on that. 
I feel like when it comes to iced coffee, I never really go for it when I make it at home. So I'm always like, I love my coffee really frothy. So this is the cafe latte option and it's good. Hmm. I'm gonna sit and enjoy this while setting up the new garden furniture. Okay, so I've set up one of the deck chairs, well, nearly set it up. I'm in the midst of doing it, but the dining set has arrived. Now it is from Olivia's. I do have a discount code, which I'll leave on the screen. And yeah, the deliveries are always so fast when I order from there as well. The dining sets come, but there was two on the website. One's gray and one's natural. But I feel like these cushions in different lights look a little bit gray and then a little bit beige. So I need your guys' opinion. I haven't unwrapped them yet. I've just literally quickly set it all up. It's not like put together or screwed in. But let me know what you guys think. So as you can see, obviously the covers are still on the cushions because I'm just trying to figure out if these are like a grey colour or natural because there was two on the website one was grey one was natural also ignore all these slabs we are going to be ripping them up and changing them I'm also hopefully going to be putting like white panels along here but I do eventually want to look at getting like a fire put on this wall and see if we can change the brick and the stone to kind of just go in with more of that neutrally like mid-century modern kind of like a taste of country modern country garden so i'm going to put some inspo picks so you can see what i'm kind of going for here so yeah this is the set obviously it's not styled nothing like that i've just quickly put it together it's not even screwed in but this table is actually a really good size and you can lift it i can't do it with one hand so it comes up and you can have it more as a dining table like when you're hosting and then obviously we've got like the spare stools here which is great for hosting as well and having people but i think i'm going to do a maybe rug underneath it obviously style it cushions blankets i'm going to do some lanterns and got a cute little fire pit candles you guys know but yeah i want to start looking at doing maybe some greenery behind and then hopefully having this as a fire built in so we're just trying to find um a contractor that can give us a quote for it as everything as you guys know takes time but in the meantime i'm going to be styling this set up because it is actually the perfect size for here and then it just flows out from the living room Okay, so I've put the set together. I'm just figuring out that little last bit here. And I really love this table because you can hide have it higher like this as a dining table and then you switch it around and it also goes lower as a coffee table so it's quite versatile which is good for when we're like hosting a barbecue or dining out here and then obviously you can dress this bit underneath and on top so I'm going to get a nice little pot on here with some flowers I'm going to start to put the cushions on properly and dress it but in the meantime I need to rush off to the hairdressers so I'm going to go get my hair done and then I'll check back in tomorrow once it's styled. So I've just basically had my highlights done on my hairline and letting this cook for 25 minutes whilst I sit here and then it'll be hair wash but yeah it just needed a nice little refresh at my roots basically and Yolanda is just the best when it comes to colour she managed to do this in like 30 minutes she's just amazing I have just got back from the hairdressers from when I last vlogged but my hair has gone a little bit shorter I know I said I'm gonna grow it out I mean it's a little bit disheveled now because I've been traveling in London um, but yeah I feel like I know I said it was gonna grow it out but I ended up having like an inch I think it was like inch and a half off because my hair seems to be growing fast at the minute and then I just got my highlights through my hair like roots rather than everywhere else just to kind of like see me over for the next few months and then i'll probably get like a full head when i go back but i mean you guys know how long i've been going to errol douglas salon it is who i trust with my hair so yolanda always does the color so she did like i said like baby highlights through my roots that was it today um just to kind of brighten it up here and then errol does my cut so we put really kind of like thin 
layers in it they're very very light layers i like to keep it as long as possible so it just gives it that kind of like shape and style so i can do more with it hence like how it looks now um but yeah i need to probably brush it because i've been on the tube and whatnot but i'm back home now and i'm just gonna go pick up chris hence why i've got this little monkey here but again i'm looking very pasty in this light hello let's put you in your car seat shall we in the back Yes, look how happy he is. Good morning, guys. It is the next day. I am back in the driving seat and my hair has actually lasted overnight. I just kind of put it in a big scrunchie, but I'm just about to, it is so hot today by the way, hence why I'm just wearing like a little black strappy dress. This is actually from Abercrombie. Hopefully they restocked it because I know it sold out when I showed you guys last. Oh my God, there's a spider. There's a spider on the wheel. Oh my God, I'm going to have to pick this off because I won't be able to drive. Ah, is that like a money spider? Got it. There is so many creepy crawlies everywhere at the minute. I've got like my ant spray everywhere all over the patio. Fly spray in the house. They're coming for me today. But maybe that was a money spider. Hopefully it's good luck. But anyway, I'm wearing this cute little black strappy dress because it is so hot. I actually used my tan this morning. I used the express mousse, but I've just taken my jewelry off. I feel like I always say that when I'm sat in the car, but it's because I'm going to the garden center. So I feel like my hands are gonna get mucky because I wanna get some nice new flowers. I wanna plant some in like our beds. And then I also wanna get some pots and plant them in that. I feel like our garden just needs to come to life now and put like my touch on it, add some color, and I want to just kind of like dress the dining set. I need to put the aircon on, hold on. I want to go anyway and get some pots, get some plants, go to the garden centre. And who would have known that like the garden centre brings me joy? I remember I used to go as a kid with my mom and be like, this is so boring. How do you enjoy this? And now I understand why she liked it. Chris has gone to golf. I want to go to the garden centre and just live my best life. So far, I managed to not know where the trolleys were, absolute amateur, and I've picked out three pots. It's like some really cute pots here. Like I've picked out like cream ones like this. I've got three different sizes, and I've got like the Cotswold stones to put down in the garden because I don't like the colour of ours at the minute. I want to make it like creamy white, but I can't even push this trolley on my own. It, I've basically put all the pots on here. Now it's too heavy. I'm such an amateur in a garden centre. And that was successful. I got these two big like daisy plants. I've got a few different pots. I've got a big one in the front as well. I've got some stones. This one, like an antique pot back there. Some little, I think these are geraniums. Um, three of those to plant one of the pots as well. So let's take this all home and get gardening. So I finally set up the diners out here, which I actually love because the shape of it just works perfectly here and I've put the cushions on and as you can see now in the sun they're such a lovely colour they really go in with that kind of like neutral theme and then I've dressed it with some cushions which I'll show you all the details I've put my little pots here I've planted them but I'm very happy with how this is coming together I've put some blankets I've put some cushions I've got a cute little antique pot on here that I got from the garden center I just need to plant this one I do not know how to pronounce it but this is it and if you can see back here Bailey is modeling the set for you guys so like I said this is from Olivia's I do have a discount code they have such amazing outdoor furniture sets fire pits accessories so it's kind of like your one-stop shop if you're looking at getting some bits for your garden or just giving it a bit of a refresh. I know we're going to be having this set now for years. It just really serves a purpose. Behind, I've actually, I don't know if you can see in the shade, I've put the olive tree back there, which I need to water and plant it. But I put it in the same pots as this. So I've just got a larger one, so it all kind of coincides together. And then back here, I really want to get either white panelling but then i also had another idea to do a lovely kind of like vintage mirror because i love the mirrors that we had on our old patio just to open up the space for now 
until we get the fireplace built here because I think the fireplace will make a real statement but we're just figuring out if to do it on this wall or maybe back on the other wall hence why we've pushed it away from the wall a little bit but it actually fits the patio here perfectly and then we're obviously going to be changing the slabs so yeah we're going to definitely look at getting a few other bits like mirrors rustic touches a few other pots and plants but for now i'm very happy with how this has come together and then i've added a few cushions this one's actually from a brand i've got a few new cushions from them called fox and bow and they have some lovely ones i've got that one and then the striped one here in the corner and then this one is from sewn so i've brought in a little bit of green with the stripes and brown neutral colors you can see bailey over here <laughs> he absolutely loves it and then these fences here i'm going to be painting white so that is my next job on my to-do list i'm not sure if i'll get it done by the end of this vlog so <laughs> i appreciate it. it's probably going on a lot and then on this side we've also put up the chimney so this is also from Olivia, as you might see though, there's a bit of ash because we did actually put it on last night whilst we sat out here and it was so cosy. I need to get a lot more logs to put underneath, but this is actually the grill. So it's a chimney and grill in one, which is perfect. So you can obviously have it lit at night like we did and you can like roast marshmallows and stuff on here. And then you put the grill over it and you can just do like quick burgers and sausages if you don't want to put like a big barbecue on. So I've got my gloves, put these babies on. So I've just started to put the Cotswold stone down and it's made such a difference. It's really brightened it up. So I've took kind of like the top layer off of the old stones. I just wasn't liking the kind of tones it had in it. And I just think this looks a whole lot better. Um, and then we will change all of this kind of like paving as well. And then this back gate, I've just actually quickly like hosed it down. And then I'm going to paint it and put a different handle on it but I love this little back gate. It just reminds me of something from like a little Disney film. I love how they've done it. And then also with the garage door, it's the same. It's like a white one. And then as you saw down here, I've planted some of my plants, although Chris has squished it with the door. So let me open this back up. I've got a taller one here, which I need to plant a little bit better and stand it up. Here we go. It is a Hollandaise Margrave. Mar Sorry if I'm saying that wrong i cannot pronounce it for the life of me and then i've got some geraniums here in these pots and i've just kind of mixed them up so we've set the deck chairs up and i've actually just got this basket that i had um from the previous house which i thought works quite well next to it just to put like sun creams in and i don't know like little drinks and snacks in here when we're here so i've just got the cordley spf in there of course but i am thinking to stain these deck chairs because they have got that kind of like orange tins to it i've got this wood dye but this is the american walnut that we actually used on the dining table but i think i'm not sure if that's going to actually work i'm going to test a little bit of it underneath and see but i'm actually really happy with these they fit the space perfectly in what we wanted here just like a cute kind of like lounge bit because basically the sun starts here on the back which we're going to be ripping out some of these shrubs and doing a cute little kind of love seat back here we found a really cute white iron one so we can have like a coffee here in the morning and once this is going to be renovated into my office space it'll be nice for me just to have a little bit of an outdoor 
um, space in front of it as well. So we'll take some of the greenery out, make that leveled out with stones and put a little love seat there, which I think will be really cute. So the sun starts there and it comes around and then thankfully we do have it most of the day because we are, the garden is like southwest facing. So we have it most here in the afternoon, hence why I've put the deck chairs here. And behind it, I'm not sure if you can see, we've actually got a cute pond. So I want to paint the parts of that white to make it stand out. And then we're gonna ring the pond specialist to come in and get it working again. So we're gonna look at adding some kind of color into here because these two bushes back here are actually hydrangeas. So they will start to bloom very soon. I can see the heads coming on them. I also got this hydrangea plant, which again, I need to pot, but I've just put it in this basket that I had from the previous house. It's actually from H&M Home, it's a little bit old, but I just thought this actually works quite perfectly here. And then I wanna do another one on the other side of the doors and also plant a few of these hydrangea bushes at the front of the house, which I'm gonna show you because our red roses and wisteria have bloomed. And then here at the front of the house, this just makes me so happy. I think it's so pretty, cars passing by, but we've got this beautiful red rose bush that just frames the side of our house here and then it goes into the wisteria. I just think this is so beautiful. I remember when we first pulled up to the house and we viewed it last summer and I saw this bush and the wisteria and it just made me instantly fall in love with it. I just think it is so pretty. So this is obviously already bloomed. I don't have to touch it. And then down here, I've pulled out all of the old kind of like weeds and plants that were here. And then I'm gonna rebush all lovely hydrangea boxes along the front here to frame the front of the house. But that is a job for another day. Hey guys, so we are on the road today because Chris is actually first time going to Marlow. It's not my first time, I love it there. But we're actually going back to Home Barn. I don't know if you can kind of see in the back, we've got the coffee table, which we are hopefully gonna be exchanging for the bigger size, if all goes well. And I also just wanna have a mooch in Home Barn again, because there's a nice rustic big outdoor mirror that I really wanna get for the garden. And some cushions and usually some other little bits and bobs. Just have a bit of a mooch there, because honestly, I feel like it's just, my interior style to a T. I just love the store. And then we're gonna have a kind of mooch around Marlow as well, because Chris has never seen it, so it'll be nice. It's got like a really cute little town, maybe grab a coffee somewhere or sit in a pub garden. God help oh, us yeah, you in can... Home <laughs> Yeah, I basically said to Chris, I was like. Little bits and bobs. <laughs> preparing ourselves but if you can obviously see I'm not wearing makeup today because my allergies are just off the Richter scale at the minute so I want to give one my skin a break and two with my hay fever and just like blow my nose and stuff all the time I really don't want makeup on my face and my eyes have been streaming so I'm just having a bit of a bare face today but I still have not properly styled my hair since I got it done um so if the lights going in and out it's because we're having to go down the country lanes because there's a lot of traffic on the motorway but yeah, my hair, I've basically just kept it since I had it done with Errol. I haven't really gone over it or washed it. I've just put some dry shampoo in this morning. I've got this pretty dress on actually from Zara, which hopefully I'll be able to show you in a better light because this light's going in and out. Um, it's actually awesome. a really nice day, yeah, but we've just been traveling through all these cute little like towns and villages. That house is this so is cute. Like Chorleywood, Rickmansworth. Gerard's Cross is really nice around here. We didn't look at any houses around here, did we? No. To be fair, it's too far out for us. I used to come a lot for work, I always used to think it was a nice area. Yeah. So, because we're going through the back lanes, we've been going through really nice little towns and stuff and seeing all the houses. It's like we're hot for shooting, it's Buckinghamshire. Yeah. So we actually, some of the towns before, we, were, we actually viewed a few houses around there, like Kings Langley and some other areas. But we realized actually now it was too far out for us, but we were just saying, weren't we, how, lucky we are with our house how much we love it and we love our area and yeah. the fact that we managed to get it in such like a market crisis as well um so yeah we've just been feeling really lucky and grateful especially now the weather's nice we've got the garden furniture and we can enjoy it a bit more and just like having drives around the area and take it all in it just feels good to kind of just be a bit more settled with the house now so very excited to go to home barn and do some more home shopping <laughs> I guess it won't match with the desk, but you can mix them. Yeah, true, but I think it doesn't go with that moody. Yeah, thing. even not that colour, but like a mirror like that in the hallway as well would look quite nice, you know, above the um, radiator cover. Yeah, 
that's what I meant, not like moody yeah. feel. The study's a bit moody. Yeah. How nice is it in here though? I love really it. Nice yeah, it's too like wood that one. Hopefully they've still got the black one so you can see it. But I just love it in here. It's just quite open. Yeah, but you've got to make sure everything's like aesthetically pleasing in it. It's not like hidden away. Yeah, I think this one's a bit too big. I mean, it would look amazing, but yeah, too big for the space. Isn't it? Oh, this is the sideboard over here that I love. That black one for the living room. Yeah, but the living room's got that long back wall. These pots are lovely. I might get one of these actually. I love that. How much is that one? If we were to do them. But I really like those mirrors, don't you? To put on that back wall. Yeah. Even that white rustic one could look really cool to bring in the white. And there's little pots as well to choose from. Doors, rustic doors made into windows. I mean, mirrors, sorry. Hello. Hello. I like the contrast of the green actually. I just saw them on Soho Home actually. They've got some in the sale on the sale reductions. I just love all the furniture in here. Yeah, really nice yeah I agree. Got loads of little stalls, but we got one last time I was here. We went to Home Bar and we ended up exchanging the coffee table but they couldn't get the coffee table out of the storage. We've got to go back and basically collect it but we've paid and reserved it so it's kind of the same just a little bit bigger and then I got a nice little pot and a cushion for outside as well. I mean I really really liked these outdoor mirrors but we're going to see if we can kind of like find it somewhere else and maybe upscale them for the cost of them. We'll see. Oh my god what is that that's just landed on me? I swear I'm attracting bugs these past few days. There was a spider the other day in the car in the driver's seat. Drama. I don't know, drama. Drama mama. But cheers, we're just sat having a drink on the river. It is so pretty here. If you can kind of see we're on these cute little decks. And there's like a river and a bridge of Marlow over here. And we have a little mooch in the town. And there's some nice little interior shops as well. And had an ice cream. So a lovely little Saturday out. Yeah. 